This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Like $1,350, $1,350, okay? Yes, madam. That is the reason you receive a call, okay? I'm saying, do you have any computer or laptop in your home? Okay, because we can give you a cancellation form and 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 a complaint form where you need to fill up the form and after that we can cancel the order and close the account okay the scammer you just watched is a typical amazon scammer that will send out voicemails and emails to thousands of people per minute similar to this one hi this is amazon customer service i am calling you in reference to your amazon account a recent order has been placed with an iphone 11 pro worth 1349 dollars for which your Amazon wallet attached with your Amazon account has been charged. If you have made this order, ignore the message or contact Amazon fraud team at 585. Thank you. If you fall for the scam and call the number that the robo voice mentions, you will get redirected to a VoIP, which is basically a phone on a computer somewhere in a fraudulent call center, most likely in the east of India. They will tell you to turn your computer on and then they will take remote access of your machine by using programs such as TeamViewer, AnyDesk or Supremo. After doing this, there are several ways for them to steal the victim's money. Some of them buy gift cards from the victim's Amazon account, pretending like they are buying the gift cards for the victim. And and yes, people actually do fall for this. Others will pretend to refund too much money by manipulating victims their online banking page. And after that, the victim needs to pay the scammers back in the form of gift cards, wire transfers, and sometimes even money in a box to a money mule that is working together with the scammers in the country where the victim is based. I got this particular voicemail on my VoIP somewhere back on December 12th and I decided to call up the scammer, let him connect to my computer, and after he's connected to my computer, I am able to reverse that connection to his computer so that I can investigate his scams and also shut them down. It says establishing connection, waiting for your technician, night 519-912-736. Okay, uh, establishing connection. All right, just stay on the line, okay? I'll quickly, uh, can you just uh, minimize everything on your screen there? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll soon get you connect with the cancellation team, okay? We will mm. go ahead and process the cancellation of this order and then uh, the amount that has to be refunded will go ahead and get uh, get that to, uh, get it to you in your bank account okay, mm. okay. Um, I request you just uh, get, stay on the line okay now that I had remote access to the scammer's computer, it was time for me to do the things that I always like to do. The first thing I always do, as you guys might know if you frequently watch my videos, is to check out the IP of the scammer to see where he is based. And as you can see on the screen, this webpage is indicating me somewhere to the east of India in West Bengal. But it cannot really decide which city these scammers are exactly in. So what I did was I started a reverse proxy on the scammer's network and I decided to run a scan on their GPS coordinates. And their GPS coordinates lead us to GN block somewhere in Kolkata. It's called Bidanagar in sector 5 in West Bengal. Now that I knew their location, it was time for me to take a look at the files that the scammer had saved on his computer. But unfortunately, there wasn't anything interesting in there. There was like five or six TXT files, notepad files with victims, their names and numbers. But yeah, nothing else. After doing all this, it was time for me to watch the scammer. And you guys might have already asked yourself the question. If you got this guy back on December 12th, why didn't you make a video on him earlier? Well, that's because this guy was very inactive. Sometimes I didn't have his connection for a week or two and every time he was online, he either was watching victims, spying on them, or the computer was completely idle, inactive for an hour or four. What you're seeing on the screen right now is uh, Scammers Remote Utilities, which is one of the remote access tools that these scammers primarily use. It is kind of similar to AnyDesk or TeamViewer, but the difference with other programs is, is this program can be configured in a way that is completely hidden from the victim's computer 
and the scammers will maintain the connection. It will run on startup. So if the victim boots down their computer and boots it back up, it will run on startup. And the scammer doesn't need a password to connect back to the victim. And if they do connect back to the victim, the victim cannot see that the scammer is connected. In my eyes, this program is borderline illegal and I have no clue how this company got their license. This connection was pretty useless to me because he was so inactive and I decided that I was gonna confront the scammer and destroy his machine. But on the day that I decided to do this, he actually started becoming a little bit active and he actually got someone on a call and tried to scam them. And this is when I found out that the guy that I was watching was actually a middleman. This means that he basically takes a call, gets the people connected on TeamViewer or any desk or remote utilities, and then he gives the call over to his senior who then proceeds with the victim. And so the scam doesn't even happen on this machine, it happens on a different machine. He just collects their uh, ID and password and then gives it to his senior who then on another machine scams the victim. Of course, I called the victim to tell them that they were being scammed. I couldn't call them on their number because I was occupied by the scammers, but I did some research on Google and I found a profile of the victim and I just started calling all of his family members and four Unfortunately, I found the phone number of his granddaughter who was actually there in his home and I told her everything about the scam. Hello? Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, do you know anyone with the name Jerry? Yeah, he's right here. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that he is talking to scammers, okay? Mm-hmm, we know, yeah. Okay, so can you please tell him to turn off the computer because those guys are, they have full control over the computer and they're gonna try to steal his money. I talked to his granddaughter for a few minutes and then Jerry got the phone. I told him that he was being scammed. He didn't believe me and hung up the phone. Then I called back another few times and then his wife picked up. I talked to her for about 10 to 20 minutes. I just had to convince them fully that they were being scammed and they still thought that I was a scammer, but they did hang up the phone and never booted the PC back up. So at least I stopped the scam. And now it was time for me to call the scammer and confront him as a Russian hacker. Unfortunately, for some reason, when I talked with my normal voice, the scammer didn't believe me and told me like, oh, I know you're a YouTuber. I don't know if you actually watched one of my videos or whatnot, but that didn't work. So I decided to get a voice changer and act like a woman. This is my first time doing this, so it might be a bit off, but at least they believe me this time. You're in order for an iPhone 12 Pro and you paid $1,350 for it. So did you place the order for an iPhone 12 Pro? No, I, I don't even have an iPhone, no. All right, my, uh, laptop, is, yeah, my laptop is turning on now. What, what do you want me to do on there? Uh, yeah, hi, madam, this is David. Now I will assist you further, okay? Oh, okay, yes, hello, David. Yeah, can you just read that out? What did you type in there? www.teamfieweer.com one three three two five seven seven six five five Maybe yes okay all right so my plan here was to have a completely empty virtual machine with just the russian flag with like coding stuff to make it seem like i'm a russian hacker but i forgot that if somebody connects to you on team viewer that the background disappears so i just had to open the file and then confront the scammer with the fact that i am a russian hacker All right. Hold on, hold on. Before we get into the confrontation, I have to tell you guys something. If you don't want to end up like this scammer, then NordVPN might come in handy. A lot of you guys probably know what a VPN is and what NordVPN is, and I'm proud to announce that they are actually the first sponsor of our channel. I get a lot of comments asking me, Scambator, how can I protect myself from you hacking me, or how do I know that you are not watching my webcam? Well, I won't be the one trying to hack you, as I'm a white hat hacker, but there are plenty of attackers out there that will try to nab your information. NordVPN is a virtual private network service that will make your internet browsing more safe. They will route your internet traffic through a remote server that will hide your IP address and encrypt all incoming and outgoing data. I personally use NordVPN when I'm calling scammers and trying to reverse the connection on them, and also when I'm trying to watch 
Netflix shows that are only available in certain countries. Not only is it one of the best VPNs out there right now, it's also very affordable. If you use my link, nordvpn.com slash scambator, or my discount code scambator, you will get a two year plan with a 70% discount, and you will also receive a month of hacker free browsing for nothing. Again, it's nordvpn.com slash scambator or code scambator. Protecting your online identity for just $3.49 a month sounds like a good deal to me. Please go show these guys some love as they are the first sponsor of our channel. And now it's time to get back into the confrontation. Alright, as you can see, I am the Russian hacker, okay? I am a Russian hacker. If you hang up the call, your computer is getting destroyed, okay? I am a Russian hacker. You f*** with the wrong person, bro. Listen to me, if you hang up the call, I'm gonna destroy your computer, okay? Destroy. Destroy you, motherfucker. I will also I am Russian hacker, I come to your house with Kalashnikov if you hang up this call, okay? I will show you. Are you gonna- I'm gonna ask you questions. Are you gonna answer my questions? I wanna ask you a couple questions. I know you're a scammer, okay? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Can I ask you questions or not? Go ahead, motherfucker. Okay, I'm gonna so, stay one hour on the call listen, and I'm not gonna disconnect your computer. I'm I, not gonna shut down my computer. Let's see you what are you not are. in charge of this conversation Let's anymore. You are not in charge of this conversation. This is my I conversation. I am your daddy, now. motherfucker. Oh, you're I'm my your daddy? daddy, motherfucker. Yes? Okay, you're yeah. gonna see. Let's show see. me what you got, you yeah, asshole. Show me what you got, or are you stupid? Who are you challenging right now? Yes? Are you you, motherfucker, show me what you got. Yeah, show me what you can do, I will show you. I need to see your black ass, you motherfucker. You are fucking done for you. See, I'm gonna destroy <laughs> your fucking mother. Listen, you motherfucker, I will put a gun in your asshole and, I, and the bullet will come out from your okay, fucking we will eye. See. Are you challenging? Okay. You are challenging me right now. You are challenging my fucking number one Russian hacker. I am challenging you right now on this call okay. to go and fuck your mother okay, and lick her see. vagina. Talk to me, talk to me in 10 <laughs> minutes. Talk to me in 10 minutes, we will see what happens. Okay? I will talk to you one hour, you asshole, bye and bye. you will... Bye-bye, you're gonna regret this, okay? My Remember, balls, my Remember my voice. Remember my voice, huh? okay? Remember my voice. Remember your voice, all you asshole. And now it was time for me to destroy this camera's computer. To do so, I uploaded like 10 to 20 viruses to his startup folder so that if he boots off his computer and boots it back up, he will get destroyed by all of these viruses. Just to name some of them, uh, WannaCry, Petia, NotPetia, Mems, Mrs. Major, like a bunch of uh, viruses that I've already used in past videos and some extras. I tried to run Mems, but for some reason the UAC prompt wasn't coming up, so I just decided to put a screen locker on his computer. He's not able to move his mouse, use his keyboard or do anything besides turning off the computer which will destroy his computer and I also decided to put up a voice chat from one of the remote access tools that I use he doesn't know where the sound is coming from but magically there is a hacker in his ears and this really scared him I just want you guys to remember how he was talking to me a few seconds ago and listen to how submissive his voice sounds when I come and join his computer and he hears me in his ears so, no, I told you not to with me, bro. Hello, can you hear me? I told you not to f with me. It's the hacker. I told, you. I told you, yes, it's the hacker, yes. It's the hacker right here. Can you hear me? I am the hacker. I told you you don't shit mess with me. I told you don't mess with me, okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? I know you can hear me. Talk to me. I can hear you. Talk yeah, you motherfucker, say. Yeah, I told you I can hack you. What you got to say now? What you got to say now, huh? I told what you happened, that... motherfucker? Yeah, I am hacking your computer. I'll I am fuck ha your mother, asshole. I am hacking your computer right I'll now. I'm hacking you. Uh, you. Say sorry. Say sorry and maybe I'll help you. Say sorry to me now. Hey, sca hey, 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 scammer. You want your computer back or not? Hey, scammer. Scammer. Hello, scammer. I told you not to f*** with me, okay? You decided to pick on the wrong person, it happens sometimes, it's okay, but now you lost your computer to me, okay? This computer is mine now, okay? I am the captain now. Why are you not speaking now, man? You had such big words for me every time and now you don't speak to me. Yeah, Scammer. what happened, motherfucker, say? Yeah, why, your daddy. Why, why are you, why are you not daddy. talking yeah. now? Why are you not talking now? Are you a f***ing? I'm a pussy. If you answer some questions for me, I will okay. I will give your computer back to you, okay? If you answer some questions for me, I will hack all the other computer in the call center if you... If okay. You 
Tell me. Okay, okay. First, you listen, listen, listen. I will talk to you when you fucking get off that voice changer. I want to talk to you in your real voice, okay, or else talk. I am not talking to you. Okay, can you hear me now? This is my normal voice. Okay. Hello. No, 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 no. You're still using voice no, changer. This, bro, listen to me. This is not a voice changer. Okay. This is my normal voice. I turn off the voice change. Now talk to me. Okay. Okay, now tell me. Okay, so you are a scammer, right? Yes. Okay, how long you have been doing this? Quite long. Okay, are you the boss of the operation? Are you the the, co the boss or are you just worker? Just uh, work here. Why? Okay, uh, how much money you make a month from this? Uh, maybe, maybe just few dollars, like uh, two, three hundred dollar. Okay, so why are you scamming people for minimum wage, man? Why are you doing this? Do you not have normal job over there in India or what? What is the problem with you? You're very fucked up India, bro. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, the economy is fucked up. Nothing why, to do. Why are you scamming? Why did you don't start a taxi or something? Why you, why you have to scam people? Are you you sleep good at night? You go to bed and you sleep good at night or what? Nothing else to do, brother. Where are you from? I'm from Mother Russia. I already tell you, I'm number one Russian hacker, and you cuss my mother. Yes, I'm gonna hack all your computer. I have access to all the computer in the call center. Can you do it? Show me. No, no, I'm not gonna show you. Use the you, other one. If you cuss me again, then I'm gonna show another. If you cuss me again, I'm gonna show another, you know. I can destroy... This one is already destroyed. I'm gonna be honest with you. You cannot get this one back. It's already How destroyed. did you access this computer? How I did you, you access this computer? Yeah, man, I tell you, I'm number one Russian hacker. I can access anything I want, okay? Really? Yeah, my name is Vladimir. I'm number one Russian hacker. You know, that's how we do it in Russia. Somebody Let me use the computer. Can no. I use my computer? No, you cannot use your computer. You decided to ah. cuss out my mother. So this is what you get from number one Russian hacker, Vladimir. What is your mother's name? My mother's name is Pamela. Pamela? Yes. Hold down. Did we spoke to Pamela? Yes, you spoke Today, to Pamela? my mother. Today, Pamela? Who's customer, Pamela? You yeah, you spoke to my mother, you know. You tried to scam her. Justin, hold on, hold on, let me check who's customer. Huh. Pamela was your mother who gave yeah. access to her computer to us, I yeah, guess. She, look, she decided to call you guys because she doesn't know about the scam and you guys tried to scam her. I come in and I reverse the connection on you and now I have access to all the computer. You have access to all the computer? Yes, I have access to all computer and I'm gonna watch you guys and I'm not gonna destroy you. Can you show me? Listen, show me listen, a listen. I'm gonna I'm not Show gonna me any it. other computer, right? If you, if really you are, then show me. Listen, I'm not gonna destroy I'm the Okay, other if you are really Listen, listen. Listen to me. If you really say who you are, Russia number one hacker then hear me okay i slanged you a while ago when i was talking to you and you and you did this to my other computer so i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shut down my this computer from the power and i want to see you hacking my other computer show me okay. if you are real can i just one. tell you one thing if Prove you shut, it. if you shut down this computer you will never get it back okay because this is gonna fry the motherboard so you have to be careful that the skull center do not catch on fire because I have put virus that will fry mother We don't care, we don't give a fuck. Um, listen, listen, we don't give a fuck. We have 100 system over here. Yes, I know you, you have, crashed no, you this have system. Like I have 20, another system. 23 system or something. I can see on my LAN, I can see on your LAN connection. I'm you know, I can see everything. I can see How many computer? Uh, you want me to check right now? I can check for you. You can you see... You, you can see me on the CCTV? Yeah, I can see you as well, man. Look, give me one. Just wave to the camera and I will show you uh, something. Hold on. Okay. I am wa <laughs> waving at the camera. <laughs> can you see me? 
<laughs> yes, man. Oh, what, are we, what are you doing, bro? Okay. I see well, you, bitch. Check. That's a bullshit. Because you know what? We don't have any cameras here in this oh, office. Hold you, on, hold on. What let the me, fuck are you talking? Let me, let me check how many computers you have in the call center first. Then I'll show you the camera. Hold on. इसको हम लोग आईपी मिल गया इसको हम लोग आईपी मिल गया यहाँ का आईपी ओके आई कैन आई कैन सी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स लाइक ट्वेल्व पीसी इन द कॉल सेंटर जॉन ए दिस इज पॉल दिस इज पॉल द कंट राइट डॉर्क वेयर दिस इज पॉल हक्कर दिस इज पॉल हक्कर द कंट सॉरी व्हाट व्हाट आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट ब्रो After this, uh, the scammer is disconnected, and I never got that connection back, which probably means that their computer just got completely destroyed. Obviously, it didn't destroy their hardware, as this is pretty much impossible to do. But at least it held them back for a few hours, maybe a few minutes. I don't know how fast these guys are with resetting the computer. I personally think that this was one of the funniest things I've done so far, and I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. A little bit more humor, a little bit less of kind of the investigating type of videos that I normally make. If you guys did enjoy it, then make sure you leave a like. Uh, you can also just subscribe and leave a comment for the algorithm so that YouTube catches on and it will promote my video more. If you want to support the channel financially, I have a Patreon that's in the description as well. And I also have a Twitter where you can follow me for some exclusive content. Hope you guys have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.